Come on, Tig. Okay, guys. It's a little different kind of dog here. His name's Tig. I mean, he's the same kind of dog in the fact that he's a Malinois, but this dog has an incredible amount of drive. So much drive that so when I'm trying to work with him, I run into problems because he's constantly eyeballing me, looking for my ball. You know, he's like, ball, 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 tug, tug, tug. Where's it at? Okay. I try to give him some treats. He's like, man, I don't care about those treats. I want a ball, right? So I have a ball. But then when I have my ball, he's always looking at my pouch or he's looking at my hand to see if I have the ball. I need a way to reward him without having to present the ball constantly because when I present the ball, it drives him crazy. So that's where marker training comes in handy. See, I have the ball, I'm going to show him the ball. So he starts looking for the ball, I'm going to hide it. And now the only way to gain access to that ball is to pay attention to me. Now when he looks me in the eye, again, that's a stress yawn, guys. That means he's thinking. So he's going to look me in the eye here in a second. And I'm going to mark that. Keeps looking me in the eye. Mark it. Mark it. And then I'm going to present. Good boy. Okay, now, what's neat about that is that I get all the benefit of uh, the drive that the dog has for a ball, but I'm able to make him focus on me calmly. Okay, now I'm going to turn this table around so you can see what I mean about getting him to focus on me. Okay, so here we have Tig, and he's about six months old, and this is the dog I was telling you that loves the ball so much. Now, so what I'm going to do is I put him up on this elevated surface. I'm going to try to get him to look at me. Okay, when he looks at me, I'm going to mark it, and I want you guys to see what, what the ability that these, these seemingly meaningless noises, if you pair them with something good, what they have in the dog. Okay, let them know they're doing the exact right thing. So I'm going to look up from the camera at him. Mark it. Mark that behavior. See that focus? I don't know how good your computer is, but you might be able to see him start shaking in anticipation of the ball. Now, the reality is, if I presented the ball, if he could see the ball right now, he would have a super hard time controlling himself. You can see him shaking now if you're watching closely. And so what this uh, reward marker allows me to do is promise him something good's happening, but not overwhelm him with the stimulation caused by the presentation of the reward. Look at that. Good boy. Dog six months old. Good boy, Tig. Hey, and just so you guys don't think we're prejudiced against other kinds of dogs, uh, here, here's a little <laughs> golden doodle to round out my video. Good girl. Watch me mark that behavior. Oh, good. She knows something good's coming. She's looking around, trying to figure it out. But all she has to do is keep making eye contact with me. Wait, watch, watch for it. Good. 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 I'm going to present a treat. Oh, let her know. You hear that sound. Man, something good is coming. Something good is coming. Hey, this dog training stuff is so easy, guys. It's just... It's just, it's just impossible to mess up if you, if you take even the least amount of time to get it right. Good. Good. But when you're training your dog, if that's not what you're seeing, if you're not seeing that look like that, oh, something's wrong. 